but what we could do is do this and then switch over and do that. And let's start working on pissing off the Xerax because, you know, that's that's what we do. Piss off the Xerax. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperial on Galactic Survival in Alpha 12.2. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to continue our Let's Play here on the Swamp Planet. Uh, but before we get started, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And if I entertain you and you do enjoy it, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't take any effort. It doesn't cost you anything, and it does help the channel. If you don't like what you see, consider leaving a constructive comment and help me improve. All right, so um, we're going to do a few different things in this episode here. Uh, so right now I've got... Um, one more uh, projectile turret cooking up, and I have three here, so we're going to set up some defenses, and I think I'm just going to put those up on the roof, and I'm thinking I might even do them as um, retractables, um, just because, you know, they'll, well, I guess, I guess there's not really any reason to do them as retractables. Maybe we won't do it that way. So we're just going to put those up there. I'm probably just going to go with cannons, too, and so I've got some cannon um, ammunition uh, cooking up here or queued up rather I made just a basic ammo box for now I'm not going to worry about an ammo controller until later uh, looks like our sweetener is done so let's grab that and put it in here uh, we're also I just made seven nutrient solutions so we're going to make um, wait no we need nine we need nine so let's do two more of those uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to make um, nine more crop plots and we're going to put them in this corner over here so let's stick these in the input and um, we, I guess we have to wait for all that's, that to finish, so. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. It doesn't look like, looks like that's finished. But it can't put it in there because there's no room. So let's do this and let's connect to here. And we'll go outside. Make sure there's no assassins around. I get two assassins that's, that spawn right here at the base. So we do have to be careful about that. Let's go up here. And we're just going to put uh, these down in the corner. I think that the Xerax are going to come from that, you know, from the east. Well, I, don't, I guess I don't know that for sure, but I do know that the Xerax have territory. Um, in the east but that doesn't necessarily mean you know that's where the drone base is going to come from so look we're going to assume that for now so we're just going to set all those guys there and then if they do you know come from the east over this way or over the mountain our cannons will go to town on them um, I really want to try and preserve these trees because I think they look cool but it's possible you know that they might get shot down but if that happens well you know it, it happens. At, well, I probably should get this base upgraded to reinforced concrete too, so that'll be a, another off-camera uh, task for me to do. Are these ready? No, those are growing. Oh, these are ready. You get 12 grain from corn, man. That is a lot. Um, the Ahax plants are still growing. You know, are these are these pronounced Ahax or is it Ox? I, I've never really been able to get a clear answer on that. Most people I've talk to say it's a hacks but i don't know you could you could potentially pronounce that as ox if you guys know let me know in the comments i'm just curious not a big deal though all right so yeah we just got a bunch of grain that went into here and i want that in my own inventory um i'm i make i made a bunch of bread and i'm continuing to make bread bread is only two points less than meat so meat gives you 60 food Bread gives you 58 food, but look at the perish time on this. 112 versus uh, 12. <laughs> so so this is uh, almost 10 times, uh, last 10 times longer. So we're going to be making a whole lot of bread uh, in the interim here until we can, you know, start getting some veggies going. Speaking of which, we need to eat. Let's go ahead and have a cheeseburger right now. And uh, yeah, that just about got us all the way back up. So we've got our... Uh, turret set and let's just grab some ammo and put it in there and it's still making more okay so we should now have two more of these let's put those in the input and we should be able to make nine crop plots 
Excuse me. Um, yeah, so let's just queue up nine of those. I think we should have... Oh, yeah, we got tons of stone. We got tons of plant fiber. So we should, we should be able to make those easily. And then we're going to pull up these nine blocks here in the corner and put um, the crop plots in here. Let's grab the other grow light and get that in place. Okay, now this is kind of bugging me. Um, I'm not sure if we can get rid of it without screwing up the outside though. Let's try fine drill and see if we can cut it down just a, a bit with this. Um, I am on the Imperion Discord. And I just saw uh, today that they announced 12.3 uh, is is pending. I did not see on there where it said that we have to do a restart. Um, but I didn't have time to read through the whole entire thing. So, somehow or another that block got damaged. Oh, I bet you I know how it got damaged. <laughs> I think when I was standing up here in the last episode and we were down below... I accidentally had my weapon selected, and I hit it, and it fired up against the wall. Anyway, so, yeah, 12.3. If you Guys, if, if that requires a restart, oh, shit, I don't want to do another restart. I know it's just the nature of this game and the way it goes. I understand it, but that doesn't make it... That doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> so, yeah, it didn't look like that really screwed things up out here. Um, So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to have to play that one by ear. I'll tell you what you, what I might do, though. Um, if I find out for a fact that we that we need to do a restart, um, I might, I don't know, I might just cancel this series and wait until 12.3 comes out because, I mean, you know, we're kind of at the point of, I, I wouldn't call it the point of no return, but we're kind of at the point where we've invested enough into this series that I don't want to stop. But, you know, if we're forced to start over... It's just going to suck. Um, it sucks for me, and it, and it sucks for you guys, too, because then you have to watch me start all over again and do the do the an early game grind all over again. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Just let me know what you think in the comments um, about all of that. We'll just have to play that one barrier, I suppose. Okay. So let's see, we've got uh, the nine nutrients in there. Okay, it's still, it's still making some more ammo, so. Let's put this up here. Okay, we probably have enough ammo. Let's wait for one more round to finish. There we go. One more batch, I should say. And then um, that should be enough for us to fully load all of the weapons. So let's go here. Um, and we're going to group everything so I don't have any special switches or anything made. Oh, these only hold 100. Okay, yeah, so we, we have plenty to, uh, to redo those. Okay, so that's done. Let's tell the turrets to... <sighs> if I tell them to... Is it an... I don't think an assassin is considered a predator. I think it's considered an alien faction, isn't it? Yeah, pretty sure it is. So I don't want it wasting ammo on predators. Um, player factions, of course, don't matter, but we'll turn it off anyways. And yeah, let's just leave leave everything there. So we'll apply that to the entire group. Okay, so we now have defenses in place on the base. We have uh, our core set up um, with the the backup equipment that we could use if we get hacked. Let's take a look at that really quick. So if I go here and uh, we go down... Uh, no, no. That's not what I want. I want to go here. So if we go to devices and we go to cargo boxes, the, um, the cargo box that I put down halfway down the elevator in the last episode, I named it Core Recovery. And so we've got, you know, two explosive devices. We need to get more Prometheum um, before I can make any more of those. I got a backup assault rifle, a backup shotgun, and ammunition, and two cores um, sitting down in that cargo bin in case we, we do get hacked. Now, at present, 
the Xerox actually isn't pissed at us, but they're <laughs> they're going to be. <laughs> By the time I'm done with them, they're going to hate my guts, you know. Uh, so, but right now, you know, they're still just unfriendly, which means they're not going to attack our base until we get uh, hostile with them. What I, I do want to do is I want to start working on getting our rep to friendly with Polaris so that we can start trading with them and teleport up to their space station and all that good stuff. Um, so that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to we're going to do uh, some quests for them and we're also going to go down to here. I don't remember if I talked about this in the last episode. I don't remember if I did. So if I did, sorry, I'm going to talk about it again. If I didn't, well, <laughs> you need to know about this. So when I left the Heidelberg two episodes ago and, and headed for home after we salvaged all those pieces, oh, side note, side note to the side note, um, I was told by one of you guys that I looted some containers that are required by the quest. So if I decide to do the quest line, and I haven't made that decision yet, but if I do, we'll probably have to manually advance portions of that quest, which isn't a big deal. I mean, we've already been there, done that, so, you know, not a big deal. Anyway, all that to say, when, um, when I was heading home, I came across a, a pretty sizable marsh biome, and there was actually about a half a dozen or more uh, Promethean stones just lying around, and so... You know, uh, I, I, I harvested one of them because I needed more, but I left the rest in place. So we're going to actually stop by there and um, and get all the rest of those. And that'll give us a nice little supply of Promethium until we can actually find either a deposit or go up into space and get it, you know, from an asteroid. What can we plant? We're going to need some more nutrient solution. So that requires water and stone dust and spoiled food. we got plenty of spoiled food, so that's not going to be a problem. The one thing that I don't have yet, though, is veggies, and I want I want to get some veggies as soon as possible. So let's um, queue up nine more of those so we can potentially make nine more sprouts. Though, you know what? I do have some extra corn, some extra spice, honey, and some more Ahax here. I want to make sure that doesn't screw up our temperature over here. Should be okay. I made a mountain base um, in Alpha, I think it was Alpha 9. And uh, let's connect to that. And, you know, because it was on top of a mountain, it was, um, it was really cold. And I had a big I had a big garden that I had planted, and I wanted to change out some of the some of the the glass that I had in front of it. So you know I took the glass out, not even thinking about the cold, and I lost like two thirds of my my crops. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, that sucked, man. That was not a good day. And then we'll just wait for the rest. Okay, whilst we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and go into our PDA to the Polaris. And we're going to... Privacy Matters is going to piss us off. Oh, that's what we need to do, you guys. We need to get a turret made for our hover vessel. Wildlife Cam, that's the ore deposit. Let's do that one. That one's super easy and it's not going to piss off the Xerox. Well, it might if there's drones nearby, but that's too bad for them. Okay, so uh, let's go into here. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit scatterbrained today, but... Just bear with me. <laughs> you guys are going, when are you not scatterbrained old guy? Um, what am I looking for? Hover vessel. We want the multi-turret. Oh, it looks like I already have already learned that. Does this thing make that? Um, it does not make that, but it does make the bullets that it's going to need. So let's actually queue up um, about 2,000 of those. And then we're going to need to go here and here. And let's make a minigun turret. Because what I'll do is I'll just plop that down on top of the hover vessel. And it'll, you know, it'll take care of the drones. It does a pretty good job of taking care of your basic drones. Okay, so we've got all of our crop plots made. Let's grab those.
There we go. Cool. Okay, let's check our temperature over here. Should be 77 degrees, which it looks like it is. And we should be good to go. Now, we need to check our CPU. We are at 77.9, so we're, we're still okay, but we're getting close. We, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot more on this base without upgrading uh, the CPU. Um, but I, I think, you know, I think we have pretty much everything we need right now. I don't think we need to do anything else at the moment. So we should be good to go. I'm not going to, like I said in the earlier, uh, the previous episode, I'm not going to bother decorating this place until I know for sure this is going to be our permanent base on this playthrough. So we're just going to kind of leave it plain Jane for the moment. I will, though, get, get it upgraded to reinforce concrete um, as an off-camera uh, task. So let's go here, and we're just going to group everything, and we should be ready to go. Turrets are active. They're loaded. And all right, cool. So let's see. We wanted to make the, the minigun turret uh, for the hover vessel. Now, now the thing we're going to run into with this is CPU. We're going to have a CPU limit issue. Let's just plop this down and just see where it's at after we plop it down. Oh, wow, that's not good. 76% <laughs> efficiency is not good at all. Oh, shit, okay. Well, the first thing I was thinking about doing is this. What are we looking at now? We're at 80%. Okay. What if we take off one of the Gatlings? Okay, now where are we at? 100%. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's a good trade-off because, I mean, we can still do fine with just two Gatling guns on here because I only really use them for hunting anyway. Um... However, later on, you know, if we start running into Xerax troops and stuff, I, I'll probably use them to kill those too. But, um, or option two is upgrade this to tier two. If we did that, hover vessel. We would need a flux coil, which I think we have. And the rest of that stuff's not a big deal. Um, here, let's, uh, do we have a flux coil? We do have a flux coil. Ten computers is kind of expensive. Can we make ten computers? How many do we have? We have two, so we'd have to make eight more. Wait, is that right? Yeah, those are the computers. Um, let's go here and here. Steel plate. We're short on iron. Okay, well, you know what? That's not a big deal. I mean, that's... We just go mine a bunch of iron. Because we used a, a quite a, a lot of that when we, you know, made those uh, elevator shaft... Or elevator thingamadoodles. Um, we're kind of short on silicon, too. Cobalt we're not really using at the moment. What about copper? Yeah, all of our ores are, are short because of all, again, we made all those elevator sh elevators. I, I was able to stop um, making all of them that I had really originally queued up because, you know, I'd, I'd miscalculated how many we actually needed. But, um, okay, well, we can't do anything with that now until we... Um, until we get some more ores, which, again, off-camera thing, right? So let's just put this additional ammunition in here. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't put all of those in. That's weird. And um, we, we should be good with just the two Gatlings for now. What if we make it green... What if we make a brown? Okay, I think we're done screwing around. Let's go get some Promethium from that marsh. Let's go do the um, privacy or wildlife cam quest for um, the Polaris. And um, can we take the privacy cam at the same time? Or privacy matters, I mean. I don't 
think we can. But what we could do is do this and then switch over and do that. And let's start working on pissing off the Xerax because, you know, that's that's what we do. Piss off the Xerax. One of these times, though, I'm going to do a playthrough where I'm going to actually befriend the Xerox and piss off everybody else. <laughs> that, should be, that should be interesting. I don't think I've ever actually done that before. You know, what, what makes that really challenging is, you know, you lose out on using the Polaris, as, you know, for trading. Which now it may not be as big of a deal because, you know, we now have the pirate faction and all that. But, it, you know, back in the day, yeah, that was a hard playthrough if you, you know, if you uh, made enemies of the Polaris. Okay, so we're going to um, find some more deposits. Oh, you know what? It's going to send us right over to that iron deposit, which is exactly where we need to go, huh? Well, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll pick up some iron ore whilst we're at it. I put a couple of water generators right there, as you can see. Wow, it is all yellow. Okay, so we've uh, discovered the first ore deposit. The next one is... where is it at? Wow, way down there. But the good news is we can pass right by the, the marsh for the Prometheum on the way to get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and lower this guy down right to about here. Can't remember, do we have to leave some ore in here for the quest to send us back here? I think we, I can't remember. So I think we're going to leave that little bit of ore in there. Let me know in the comments if you don't. I, um, Like I said, I just can't remember. If we don't, then I'll come back and clean it all up later. Oh, let's do one other thing too. Just fill this hole in so we don't run into it in the middle of the night some, sometime when we're out and about doing stuff. Okay, how much ore do we get out of that deal? 141, okay. That's decent. So, we're gonna go to the south. We're gonna stop and get all that Prometheum in that marsh biome and then we will go um, that's a, that's a copper deposit. Yeah, we're going to go mine that sucker too, because we need it. Okay, so look at all of the uh, Prometheum stones that this marsh biome has in it. It's definitely the most I have seen in, in one general area. Uh, there's lots of Pentaxa too, but it's the Prometheum that we're interested in right now. What are you shooting at? Huh, okay. So that's, uh, that's one. Whoa. Oh, wow, we've got arachnid thingamadoodles, scorpion things? That's scary. That's what our turret shot at. Is he, is he shooting um, assassins or something else? Okay, good. We got some alien teeth off that guy because we need those for medical uh, supplies. We'll just have our turret kind of watch our back. Okay, that was the second uh, Prometheum stone. Dang, I didn't know there were scorpions around here. That's the first one I've seen. I mean, you see them in, you know, alien POIs, but having those guys out in the open, yikes. Okay, here's the third stone. Might as well grab some of this, too, and some of this while we're here. Oh, shit! You little bastard! Guys are really hard to kill, too. And he's only a level one. What in the hell are you doing? Oh, that's that gurgling noise. 
I, at first I thought it was coming from the alien thorn plant, but it's just kind of the ambient noise of the marsh. You know, marsh and all that. It does kind of make sense. Okay, what is this? Is this our fourth or our fifth Promethium stone? I mean, you can see it's all over the place. Okay, who are you shooting at? Is that a... Is that a golem? That is a golem. Alright, you know what? Um, I want to... Kill him myself for the XP. He might have some nice ores on him too. We got 1,683 XP off of that deal. Oh! <laughs> We're right on top of him. Alright, what did we get out of that? Um, I don't care about that. But we got some Arrestrum and some Titanium. Nice! We can make some rods out of that. Cool. Yeah, look at the, the Promethean stones, guys. There's like two more there. There's there's one over there. <coughs> it's abundant. Everything on this planet's abundant. I mean, almost to the point of like it's maybe just a little bit unbalanced and OP. I don't know. I mean, I'm not complaining, though, to be honest with you. It's kind of nice <laughs> to have so many abundant resources, but it's just, I don't know. I've never seen this many easy-to-get resources in this game ever on any planet. And, you know, that it's okay as long as it's not too easy, if you know what I mean. All right, well, let's see. I'm going to just grab, go around and grab the rest of these Promethean stones. And then um, we'll go down and finish the quest for the, the Polaris and mine up the copper. But we are, uh, we're kind of out of time. In fact, we're quite a bit over at this point. So... Yeah, let me, um, I'll, 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 let me, I'm going to do a cut here and get the rest of this Promethium, and then I'll meet you guys down at the, the copper, uh, deposit so we can finish that quest, and then we'll wrap things up. Well, damn it, we're stuck. I hate this stupid, uh, getting stuck on the trees bug. I should be able to just back right out of it, but I can't. So, all right, what we're going to have to do is climb out and... I don't have a chainsaw with me. Make sure there's nothing around that wants to eat us. And then we're just gonna blast it. Okay. That's so irritating, man. I don't ever remember that happening before until Alpha 12 came out. Got another resource over this way. Iron deposit, okay. You know, while we're here, assuming we have enough space, I'm gonna hit that silicon deposit too. But uh, this should finish our quest with the, the Polaris. Oh no, I guess we do have to do a third one, don't we? And look at that, it happens to be the silicon deposit. What do you know? Well, let's go do that and then I'll come back and grab the, uh, the copper off the camera. There we go. All right. So, where does that put us? With uh, Polaris in terms of rep. Let's take a look. <laughs> 5,926. Okay, we're so damn close. I mean, if we go pop a couple of Xerax drones or kill a few more predators, we'll, we'll, we'll probably do it, but... We might as well, um, we might as well take wildlife cam, because, I mean, we're ready to start pissing off the Xerox anyways. Uh, or, I'm sorry, privacy matters. I always get those mixed up. Um, oh, and it's just right off to the left. Okay, let's just pop this out, because it's right here. And then I will, um, 
I will uh, do all the mining and stuff uh, after the episode is, is finished. Uh, so let's just make sure we're ready to go. The turret is on, and it's set to NPC factions. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Kind of don't like that it's in the trees, though. Last time I noticed some drones floating around. Okay, where are our floating around drones? There they... Oh, okay. There they are. So we, we just have to make sure we don't hold still because... We don't want them to get a beat on us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get stuck on the damn tree. That would be the worst thing ever. Okay, come on, turret. Shoot that thing. And then one more over here. A minigun. Let's do a little zig and a little zag. You little bastard. Status with faction players make corp change friendly. Woot! Oh, we got another one? Shit. There we go. Alright, so. Um let's take a look here. Uh no, not there. Here. We're still only unfriendly with the Xerax, which is fine. I mean, you know, we'll get the hostile eventually, but we are now friendly with Polaris. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can get these drones looted really quick, but we have got to wrap things up because we've gone kind of long, but I'll see, you know, if I can shorten things up a little bit in editing. Let's see what this guy's got for us. Stuff that we have no room to hold on to because... Yeah, we better get it in here because I, I saw an assassin wandering around. Uh, let's go to our ore and wood and move all of this stuff over there. No, don't get stuck. Man, I, I bumped into that tree, you know, uh, when we were fighting and I, I thought, oh my god, that would be a bad time to get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to jump out of the upper vessel and shoot him with our, our gun. But with the other drones floating around, that would be a very dangerous prospect. And we got another flux coil. Beautiful. Okay, good deal. Guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and watch out for assassins. Because they're nasty. And <laughs> I'm going to finish... Uh, mining, uh, I'm going to mine the copper deposit and the silicon deposit and then head back to the base and then um, we'll probably in the next episode we're probably going to visit the Polaris and go up to the space station and um, just, you know, just kind of see what they, they have going on in terms of their um, wares and then figure out what we'll do after that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.